So we are so we are going to use uh, the software Visual Studio Code. You can use Notepad plus plus also. Okay, so it's better for you to use Notepad plus plus. So let's start with this Notepad plus plus. I'm just opening up. Okay, so let's create a new file. Now I want to just after opening up a new file, go to file, click on save as, click on save as and select the destination where you want to save it. So I want to save it in my documents folder and I want to this JavaScript folder here. I want to give it as name of the file. Name of the file you can give it anyone. So I'm going to here class seven or tab. And here save as type you have to select HTML. Yeah, hypertext markup language. So I'm just and click on save. So now it is your save as it, the file is being saved as .html. Now we can uh, start coding. Uh, first thing you have to write down HTML. Just follow HTML. Then you have to close the tag also. So in between this, we are going to write down anything. After that, we have the head section, head, and then the title. Title provided what whatever the title we give it, it will show up on the web browser. So let's say. Uh, give it as a form tag because we are going to use the form tag. So I give that. Then close the title tag. Close the title tag. So closing the head tag. Okay. Then we move to the body part. Body. Now here yeah, we have different heading styles. So let's start with the heading style. Action heading or one slash. Whenever you have to open a tag, you have to close it also. Second H two heading. You will find out the difference after we look for the output of the file. Heading three. Again, H four. Heading four. And the last one is your H6. Adding 6. H6. So let me use the body also. And 
by pressing Control S from the keyboard, I am going to save the file. Or you can go to File and click on Save. Now, as I it is being stored in my document file, so let's go to my document, the JavaScript, and it is class seven from time. So now let's see. Here the heading is available form tag. Okay. So heading one, it is the larger one. You can see the difference from H1, H2, H3, H4, H5, and H6. So we have six heading tags in the HTML. So the largest one is H1, and the smallest one is the H6. So now this is all about heading tag. Now let's move to. We are going to use heading tag H1 line center. If I want that whatever. Uh, Sample um, slash H1. Control S. Refresh the page, and you can see it is in the center. So just for providing whatever the information you want to put in the center, you have to use the align tag. With the H1 space align equals to double quotes center double quotes close angle bracket close. Now I want to use a form tag. Started the form tag here slash and close the form tag here. So suppose you want to create a simple form. Uh, like just you want to enter the name, username, first name, last name. How you can do that? So just type down. Uh, let's start with the. Uh, so first label. 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 What it will provide? It will provide whatever. Let me see. I will tell you. First name. Close the label. So let's see the output. Go here. So it will provide first name. What you have to write? You have to write the first name. So for making space, we have to use M percent and B as P semicolon. So I'm just copy it, paste it. Save it. Now let's check it. So you can see. This much space is being provided by using NS and the SP label. Now you have to check. You have to input input the data. So input type is equals to text. Type text. And uh, one more thing that you can use is what you can use it as. Suppose you want to uh, let's see output. You can see the box is here, but right now the box is empty. You want to uh, you want to say the user that what you have to type it here. So for that. You can use a attribute here. 
So what is the attribute you can use it here? Placeholder. Placeholder equals to yes. Enter name here. Enter first name here. So when you check the output here, enter the first name here. Same thing you can do it again. So I'm just going to copy paste it. One, two. So input type text, placeholder, enter the last name. Enter age. And give it a thickness H. Enter H. Now when you click on this you can see first name last name and then age now it is in the single line suppose you want to enter first name last name in the single line and age in the next line so what you can do is after this you can put a tag br br for break the line save it Refresh. Okay, we have done it. Put it on the wrong side. We can just record this. Now, first name, last name. Now, here we want put the same space so you have to use same NBSP and to yes. refresh it you can find out so now you want to as label when I refresh it it's too large so I will delete some space refresh it now it's looking a little bit fine one more that, that's all I said that now it's okay now you want to put a button here so again we are break the line button how uh, which type of button you want to use you can use the review button x button whatever the button you want to use you can use it but by default we are going to just write on button and here we are going to write this that is submit slash button so let's check it whether the button is included or not so you can check it submit button is being included i want to give some space control c and i can use it after the 
be your parent. So comes and help use it. Press F5. You can see. Again, I want more space. Space. So you can see the summit is here. This is how you can build up a form. So what you have to do, you have to build up a form by using these codes of different at least uh, seven to eight labels you have to use and you have to just open up your the diary, the first page of your school diary and you can see the first name, last name, contact number, mother's name, father's name, your date of birth, everything that uh, form included you have to create that form in the HTML format. This is the task and if you have any doubt you can ask in the video section. You can just Write down your query in the comment and I will reply it to you. So that's all. Will reply it to you. So that's all.